now there are instructions to muhammad sallallahu and to his companions in these hard times what should you do how can you be steadfast what will give you the energy and strength to bear all these things number 1 aqimi salata li duluq ash-shams ila ghasq al-layl wa quran al-fajr in quran al-fajr kana mashhuda keep this prayer established from the time when the sun declines to the darkness of the night now the salatu zuhr after the sun you know it just starts getting down and now zuhr now asr now maghrib and isha four prayers le dulu ki shams ila ghasq al layl till the night becomes fully dark wa quran al fajr and take to the recitation of quran at dawn fajr Now this Salatul Fajr is not called Salat, recitation of Quran. Why? Because in the Salat of Fajr, there is the practice that much of Quran must be recited. In the other prayers, you can have a few ayat in in one rakat, but in Fajr, sizable portion of Quran has to be recited. Quran al Fajr, Reci- recitation of Quran at the time of dawn. In the Quran al Fajr, the Quran is shuda, verily. the recitation of quran at the time of dawn it is witnessed by the angels so this was instruction number 1 instruction number 2 specially for muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was the leader he was the chief so he had to have more than the common muslims he had to persevere more he had to put in more struggle more time wa min al-layl fatahajjad bihi nafilat lak and from the time of night you keep awake with this quran reading this quran and this is additional worship for you it is prescribed this tahajjud for muhammad was farz imperatively it was an additional farz for him for the whole of the ummah it is nafil it is additional you may pray you may not pray if you are not praying you are not committing any sin but for muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was essential it was imperative it was ordained it was commanded to him nafilat lak it is additional for you asa yab'asak rabbuka maqam mahmuda there is hope that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your lord will give you that that station praise worthy station maqam mahmud in the hereafter what is that station we can't understand but there is some station a special station maqam al mahmud which will be allotted to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam number 3 wa qur rabbi adkhilni mudkhala sidqin wa akhrijni mukhraja sidqin wa ij'al li min ladunka sultanan nasira and pray to your lord oh my lord let me have an entry of truth that is into medina now this ayah is actually it is coming events cast their shadows before so hijra muhammad was going to go to to madina he, he he was going to make this hijra but before that allah subhanahu wa taala is teaching him a prayer wa qur rabbi adkhilni mudkhala sidqin when i enter madina it be a, it should be a entrance of truthfulness wa akhrijni mukhraja sidqin and you take me out from this makkah this city of makkah with truth waj'al li min ladunka sultanan nasira and then grant me from your special stores of authority grant me authority in this world which should help my mission this was the prayer which was taught to him and we know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he taught this prayer actually he had accepted the prayer already it was decided by him that when muhammad enters madina he will be entering like a king people at makkah were you know bent upon killing him and makkah at only 300 miles less than 300 miles north of makkah the other city is madina yasrib it used to be called and there the people are you know waiting for him to come to say him the welcome qatala al badru alaina min sanniyat al wadai 
قد وجب الشکر علیدہ ما دعا للہ دعائی سمال گرلز دی ور سنگنگ دس سانگ ون محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واس انٹرنگ مدینہ سو وٹ اے کنٹراسٹ بٹ دس ہیپنڈ اینڈ محمد اینٹر دیئر ایز اے رولر امیڈیٹلی بہت دی بگ ٹرائبس دی آسن خزرج ایکسیپٹڈ ہم اینڈ سو ہی بیکیم دی رولر آف مدینہ و قر رب ادخلی مدخلا صدقن و اخرجنی مخرجا صدقن و جعلی من لدن کا سلطان النصیرہ و قل جا الحق و زحق الباطل ان الباطل کان زہوقا اینڈ پروکلیم او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ٹروتھ ہیز کم اینڈ فالس ہڈ ہیز وینشڈ آل دو اٹ ہیز ناٹ ہیپنڈ اپ ٹل ناؤ بٹ اٹ واز شیور ٹو ہیپن اونلی ان ایٹ ایئرس What is eight years in the nation's history? Within eight years, Muhammad came back with 10,000 of his companions and entered Makkah victoriously. So, what would happen on that day? It is proclaimed here. Tell them, proclaim, Say that truth has come and falsehood has vanished. And verily, the falsehood is ever certain to vanish. وننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء ورحمة للمؤمنين and we are sending down from Quran these ayat which are remedy healing for all the diseases of the chest and heart haughtiness love of wealth love of power and authority these are the things these are the diseases for that Quran is shifa وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And a mercy for the believers. وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارَ But it doesn't increase the evildoers. But for them, there is loss because they are not going to accept Quran. وَإِذَا عَنَمْنَا عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ عَرَضَ وَنَّا بِجَانِبِهِ And when we bestow our blessings on a human being, then you know he becomes arrogant. Now he is not listening to us. He has ample to food, everything to eat, everything he has of necessity. Now, why should he call us? Why should he pray to us? But when, on the other hand, when some affliction comes on him, now he becomes absolutely disappointed and totally despaired. These are the extremes of human beings. Usually the human beings, you know, they oscillate between these two extremes. قُلْ كُلُّ يَعْمَلُوا عَلَىٰ شَاكِلَتِهِ Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all are working according to the personality structure that they have. What is shakila? Pattern, you know, shakila, pattern. And this pattern for every human being is fixed by two things. Hereditary factors which he has had through the genes of his parents, father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, and so on and so forth. The genes... They give a pattern to his structure, to his, his, his personality. And number two, the environment in which he has lived, the country, the society. What's the structure of the society? What are the values? What people think? All, and what education he got? These two things combined together make a shakila of a person. His personality structure is there. Now, if with this personality structure, either... He turns his head towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and face and he strives for good or for bad. The free choice remains there, but he cannot outgrow his skin. He will remain limited to the shakila. The shakila will remain with him, but he can pursue good through this shakila and he can pursue evil also through this shakila. Kul kullun yamalu ala shakilati. Your Lord knows best who is more, who is more guided to the right path. And they ask you, O oh, Muhammad about the spirit. Tell them, this ruh, the spirit, human spirit, it is from the command of my Lord. And you have not been given from the knowledge but very limited amount. These things you can't understand. These things belong to Alam-e-Amr. 
یو کین انڈرسٹینڈ عالم خلق دس مٹیریل ورلڈ یو کین لرن یو کین انڈرسٹینڈ یو کین یوز یو کین ڈسکور دی لاس گورننگ دس فزیکل ورلڈ مٹیریل ورلڈ دین یو کین ایکسپلائٹ ڈفرینٹ فارم آف انرجیز وچ آر اویلیبل ہیئر بٹ دیٹ عالم امر یو نو ویئر دیر آر اینجلس ہیومن اسپرٹس all these things you know you are beyond your perception you can't perceive you can't conceive wala in shayna la nadhabna bil ladhi awhayna ilayka summa la tajidu laka bihi alayna wakila o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had we wished so had we willed so we could take away from you that which we have sent down to you in revelations this quran we have sent and we have collected it in your chest in your heart in your brain but this is our authority if we want you can take it back summa la tajidu laka bihi alayna wakila then you will not be able to find for you any guide against us that he can he can you know force us to give it back to you our authority is final illa rahmatan min rabbik but this cannot happen due to the mercy of your lord inna fazlahu kana alayka kabira because his bounty over you is very great and the biggest you know manifestation of that bounty of allah subhanahu wa taala on you is this quran 